this is the new car. So this is my new, new to me, 996. Uh, I picked it up about a week ago. Um, so we're just over the Christmas New Year break at the moment. So it's still in need of a nice clean. And that's what I'm going to be doing today. Get to know the car, give it a good old clean and uh, get it looking as good as possible. So it's a late 1998 car. So it's a 99 model year from uh, December 2018. So it's still the cable throttle car, which is what I was after. It's got the aero kit, which I think sets it off lovely. Um, in terms of options, it's got a, a sunroof. That's one of the things I wanted. I know that some people don't like a sunroof, but I think why not? It's gonna be a fun car. And it's gonna be something I'm gonna modify and make my own um kind of like an outlaw car but let's see let's see what happens the wheels on it are from a 996.2 gt3 and they are genuine gt3 wheels which i was quite surprised so there is a good few thousand pounds worth of wheel on there alone and the nice thing is we have a nice matching set of michelin n3 rated tires um 295s on the back on these GT3 wheels and two 35s on the front, uh, all with plenty of tread. Uh, the car itself is lovely, the, the, the condition of the car is great. I couldn't really fault it, I went round it with a paint depth gauge and um, I, I, I couldn't even spot any new paint on it. I was going to assume that the front had been sprayed because there's so few stone chips, but from what I can work out, it is absolutely original. The colour is a special order, it's Grand Prix white. Um, I don't know how many of these actually came in Grand Prix white, but I'm imagining very, very few. So yeah, it's quite unique. Um, inside, you can see it's, it's got the four, four spoke steering wheel, which uh, is from the 993 partsman, I believe, but it's what came with these very early 996s. It just missed out on the amber headlights from what I can work out, even though it was a 98 car and it's a throttle cable car. I can only assume it was pulled off the general production line because of its special paint color. Um, and it's actually what appears to be a, a 98 model, which was uh, sold in a 99 VIN number. And I guess that's just the, the designation of order that they're all produced. But yeah, it's great, I love it. It runs brilliantly um, and I'm hoping to have a lot of fun with it. So I'm gonna give it a good old clean, get the wheels off, get up in the arches, clean out all in the arches, Get in the engine bay, give that a lovely clean, clean out the interior, treat the leather, and yeah, just get to know the car a bit better and see what, what if anything, needs doing to it. But I'm hoping, from everything I've discovered about it so far, it is a very straight, very honest, and what I would say, a very, very pretty 911. So yeah, let's delve in a bit deeper, jack it up, get the wheels off and see what we find. Time to find out how dirty she is. Uh, let's have a look in there. Ooh, leaves. We'll get that clean. Two things in life, always happy to see me. My dog and Henry. Look at his little face. Best way to clean in these rads. Get a normal slim tipped end of a hoover and then get a bit of cable trunking that you'll find in any old household. Cut a little angle on the end and then you've got the ultimate way of getting right in the side of your radiators to suck out everything that is in there all the way to the back it's got to be a good few foot long so uh, you can get all the way in there so sucky sucky nom 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 perfect The before is never complete without the after. All the muck cleaned out, should be good to go. Every time I clean the car now, I just get rid of all that leaves, crud and muck that may accumulate under there. Stops the radiators rotting out and a big repair bill. And she is up in the air. The car has brand new wheel bolts, which is nice because they rust a lot. But underneath the arches, ooh, she needs a clean. Let's see how much we can bring her back up overall. Corrosion wise, everything looks healthy. It looks good, nice and solid. Um, hopefully I'm not gonna find any surprises as I work my way around the car. All looking good though, happy days. 
Well, I hope we can all agree that is a hell of a lot better than it was. It's not perfect, I'm not striving for perfection. I'm just striving to make it a lot better than it was. And uh, there'll be plenty more cleans to go that aren't in the depths of winter. Yeah, it's coming out well, nice. And so we're at the front left, midway through the clean. Ignore all that cack on the bodywork, that'll be clean next. But yeah, under there, we are getting clean. Nom 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 nom. Brand new steering rack, always nice to see. Happy days. That is the rear right hand side, nicely cleaned up and all back together. Ba boom. Oh, the front right, before. It's cleaner actually than the others. Seems to be. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get in there and get it nice and clean. Uh, after a bit of a clean, looks good. Obviously, it could be cleaner, but we can do that in summer when the weather's nicer. But for now, everything checks out as being in really nice order. Happy, happy days. Time to get the wheel back on. So, it looks a bit like the remnants of an Ibiza closing party, but the car is clean. She's looking great. What did I learn about the car? Thankfully, not a lot. It's all sound and as it should be. There's a little bit of paint that's chipped off of the rear bumper. Um, a stone must have flicked up things at the back, but yeah, it is as good as immaculate. I'm amazed. I continue to be amazed how good it is. So yeah, watch this space for a bit more uh, fun and games with the old girl. I look forward to it. <laughs> 